it's a pleasure of showing my work in Italy, and especially in Vicenza, which is an area so strongly associated with Palladio. Um, his formidable legacy of building and ideas, I mean, it's a real body of work. It's really an honour to be the inaugural exhibition for the Fundazione Bizarza. The Bizarza Foundation, because they're not in the middle of a city and you've got this extraordinary freedom of having so much space, it's completely different from the normal restrictions. The exhibition in the Foundation is arranged in a series of sections. Some are more to do with getting across information but some are designed to give visitors an experience. I mean, you want people to come away with something they couldn't have got anywhere else. There are several sections in it. Um, one I titled Plain Space, um, which has four projects, Horson House, um, a cricket pavilion, the Baron House, and the Bridge Q. For these projects, I specially commissioned photographs, which are made up of um, up to 96 separate photographs stitched and layered um, so that you can step right up to them and see tiny details. And this section is also about um, the site and materials. And on the trestle tables we have um, 30 years of designing houses. Um, we have models laid out chronologically. Um, the models are very important to the way I work. And we have a parallel table, the second table, which has design objects and material relating um, to the timeline which is on the wall. And then you can move through to another space, uh, which has what we call the one-to-one, -one, which is a full-scale um, building or experience. And, and this is a way for visitors to have a direct experience of awesome space. And this is actually the first time I've worked um, in mosaic. And then the third room has um, films, uh, one of which is visual inventory, on how I use photography as a design tool, and then films about the boat ballet and monastery consecration. And for me, these are all about the importance of movement and patterns of use. I mean, I design architecture um, for people, and this is how it should be seen, um, inhabited. I hope when the visitor comes, be able to take away a feeling of having experienced, you know, porcelain space in its, you know, in its reality. Because, you know, what we do is, is all built around people, and, you know, the places are designed for people, and they're for people to feel good in. So I hope people feel good in it.